it's difficult to get a clear picture of what the role of art is and the role of the artist today. Art is a difficult subject today to define as like what are the boundaries of art. I took a very conscious decision to, to make, for example, figurative work because I think there's immediately a moment of recognition. There is something almost very primitive embedded in our nature, I think, that wants to recognize um, another human being. I'm very interested very in the dark side of the human uh, conscience and subconscious. I'm interested in how feelings or symbols or, or, or religion can manifest itself in something recognizable. I think we are in a, in, in a phase that we are not sure what to believe in or, or what, what is the truth or who's going to guide us to a better future. For example, I have titles in my work, my work like The Great Communicator or The Manipulator or The False Prophet. We are all playing roles in a way. And I think also how, how much you can manipulate other people with these marks that we wear. By bringing up the evil, or to recall evil, I try in a way to uh, to, to, to bring those negative energies together and to contain them and to give them a personality so they're safe and we can recognize them. Recently I started to work more with clay. I'm very interested in like traditional techniques in sculpturing for example, like to, to cut things out from a raw material. I never use real objects in my work. It's very important to remake them myself. Also to internalize the, the subject to my own universe. Maybe by remaking them I can also be closer to that, those subjects, you know. In my work, I also refer sometimes to moments in history, a painting that I saw, a photograph that I saw in a newspaper, uh, a scene from a film. Often it's something art historical that catches my eye, because I think maybe artwork from art history is also already a reflection of the artist from its time.
by recalling these moments of the past or of our history, I want to bother people in a way with something that I, they know already. By bringing these characters to life from the paintings of Picasso, they suddenly can be an, an, a vision of the future, maybe. You know? Maybe the future is not that abstract as we think, but it's built out of elements that we, that we recognize. As an artist, I want to take also the freedom to reconstruct a new story with the deconstructed different elements. I create a character with a certain gesture and I think like no, the head is just, it isn't right. So I cut off the head and remake another one. And I think by, so I, I also during the process I deconstruct it again. In order to combine and to make the, exactly the right composition and to come exactly to that point where a meeting point or a cross section where, where all these elements come together like a like a chain reaction before uh, an explosion you know